Hey guys, just wanted to give a little reminder before my video that Black Lives Matter today, tomorrow, and every single day. If you are not seeing stuff in your social media feed anymore, then you probably need to follow more activists, more organizations, more Black Lives Matter associated pages, anything like that, because they're posting stuff. There are still things going on. And just because you're not seeing them doesn't mean it's stopped. I'm going to continue to put resources in my description box for places to sign petitions, places to donate, educational purposes, anything like that. So there is a link down there and some other resources. Make sure you look at those. Also, I want to shout out some black owned businesses that I've purchased from lately and have loved. So those will also be in the description box below. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you are new. This video is going to be another baking video. I have been doing a lot more recently because I don't know, I just really wanna make baked goods. I have a problem with sweets. <laughs> I really like sweets. But today, I am going to be making dairy-free slash vegan peanut butter cookies. I made some of these last night and they actually turned out really good. I think I just need to leave them in a little bit less in the oven, but they were good. So I wanted to make some more because I wanted to give some to my family today. And I thought it would be perfect to just film a video for you guys, give you guys an awesome dairy-free peanut butter cookie recipe. So let's go and make some delicious cookies. This recipe I found online just like almost all the recipes that I end up doing but I will link it down in the description box below so you guys can look at it and follow along if you want to try this out or I mean you could just follow along with my video too but you know. <laughs> Ingredients. One cup of natural peanut butter, creamy or crunchy or almond butter. One cup coconut sugar or pure cane sugar. Six tablespoons almond milk, room temperature it says. Two teaspoons vanilla extract. One cup of flour. One teaspoon of baking soda and a generous pinch of salt. First things first, of course, gotta preheat the oven and it goes to 350. Line a cookie sheet with silicone mat, parchment paper, or leave ungreased. I was actually nervous about not greasing the pan yesterday, but they didn't stick at all, so hallelujah. Time to actually make the dough. In a large bowl, add the peanut butter and sugar and mix until creamy. When I did this, it wasn't super creamy, but I just kind of mixed it up until all the sugar was gone. Stir in the almond milk and vanilla. Then next, add the flour, baking soda, and salt. Mix to combine. Now at this time, it says the dough will be tough to stir and using your hands to mix it together will be easier. I didn't have to end up using my hands. I just really, really made sure it was all mixed up and good to go. It did take me a little bit to stir it up because it does get pretty tough, but it's not too hard. I mean, you can use your hands if you want to, but you don't have to. Now that the dough is all combined and ready to go, you should be able to make little cookie balls out of them. <laughs> I don't have one of those scoopers, but you could totally do that to make them more unison <laughs> instead of what mine pretty much look like, which are just different sizes, but I'm fine with that. So whatever you wanna do, just make them into balls and put them on the baking sheet. Now the signature thing of peanut butter cookies is like the little crisscross. So you're gonna take your fork and the back of it, you're just gonna press it down on the top and crisscross it. Now, there was actually a tip on this recipe I found which really helped, and that was if in between the times that you press it on the cookie, you actually put the fork in the sugar so it doesn't end up sticking all over the fork, and it worked. It was great. Plus, it got a little bit of sugar on the top, and another suggestion from this recipe was to put a little bit of salt or sugar on the top anyways, so I ended up just having a little bit of sugar on the top. I think I did go in after that, though, and sprinkle a little bit more on top top because I wanted there to be more. And that is literally it. <laughs> this recipe is super simple. There's no complicated ingredients or anything for it being like a dairy-free recipe. So after your cookies are all lined up, time to put them in the oven. It says place in the oven and bake for 10 to 13 minutes. 13 minutes will yield a crispier cookie that's tender inside. I think that I'm gonna go for the lower amount of time this time because I did bake them a little bit longer and after they cooled down, they got harder than I wanted them to be, so 
we're gonna try this time at the lesser time. <laughs> After they're done, it just suggests that you let them cool a little bit and you can always transfer them to like a cookie rack, but I don't have that, so I just let them chill where they were. Alrighty, so they are done, the ones that I just made, and I made a lot out of the batch. The cool thing is about this recipe is you can get a lot of cookies out of this, so I made some tiny ones too. <laughs> so I'm just gonna taste test this one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like this batch is better this time. I really do. I'm not sure if I put it in the video, but um, I burned myself <laughs> taking the cookies out of the oven because of course I would do that. One little last note, the peanut butter that we used is not very flavorful. So I feel like the flavor of your peanut butter in your cookie has to do a lot with the peanut butter you're using. I would love to try a different peanut butter with this, but these are still great. They still taste good. And that's all I have for today's video. I really just wanted to share this recipe with you guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Follow my social media accounts. They will be at the beginning of this video and in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever it is where you are right now. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.